Hi and welcome to Great Getaways. On today's getaway, it's going to be a little bit different than our usual outdoor adventure. We're going to travel to small town America to visit quaint little shops with unusual names and unique products. Stores and shops that are operated by entrepreneurs who had the dream of making a living up north. So when you're driving up north, stop in and say hi to these folks that are all bringing you a little bit of up north. Our quest today takes us to four small towns up north to look for some unique items that are uniquely up north. We end that day on the road for a great little dinner at the Smokehouse Barbecue Truck. Okay, let's get started in the small town of Roscommon. It's time to shop till we drop. The city of Roscommon is located six and one half miles north of I-75 at exit 239. This is a sleepy little town with less than a thousand residents, still small and unique. So join us on our tour of downtown Roscommon. Hi Beth. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing today? Good, thanks. Well Tracy, you've got us down here. We're in a great little shop here. What, where are we at? We're in downtown Roscommon in White Pine and Petals. And this is Beth Barber, the owner. Hi. Hi, Beth. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. Tell us a little bit about your place here. So we are a full-service florist. We do weddings, events, everyday funeral services. Um, try to be a little bit more unique than the traditional flower arrangement type store. Uh, we also have all the gifts, jewelry, apparel, pantry, um, gosh, candles, bath and body. Just, about just a whole line of, whole line of stuff. stuff. Yeah, I, I think it's probably pretty good. You know, a lot of guys bring their wives up here, and then the guys want to take off, go hunting, or go fishing. Yes, may have to stop off, buy some flowers or a little gift for yeah. the lady, take it home. Yes, or, or if they're out there doing that. I guess they could just give their wife a credit card and tell yes, them, head into better. town, there's some great shops there. Even better. <laughs> there you go. It's a fun store. I'm always looking to bring back a little up north, and what better place to find something than in a boutique called Made Up North. So, in we go. Hey guys, how's it going? Good, Good. how are you, how are you doing? doing today? Good. So uh, we're in town, we're kind of looking around, and there's so many great shops around here. And you've got one of the coffee shops here, well, Coffee Shops Plus, because you've got a lot of other stuff. Why don't you tell me a little yeah. bit about your place? Well, Made Up North is focused on featuring local artists and makers from northern Michigan, so hence Ooh. the word Made Up North. Um, we've been, been in business for three years. We started in 2017, and we were on the next block. Last year, in the spring of 2019, there was an opportunity to take over here and expand the business um, with our baked goods and coffee and classes and lots of other opportunities featuring up north. Okay. How many different artists do you actually have come in here and display their stuff? It ranges, but right now we have approximately 40-ish different I would say businesses, um, so that could be whether it's a food-based business or an actual vendor. Okay, and wh what kind of things would they find? We've got to, I see some displays in the wall behind us, but there's a lot of other jewelry, all yeah, types of stuff. It really runs the gamut because people are very creative. You have watercolor paintings, um, we have jewelry, we have card artists, pottery, woodworking, candles, even down to nail polish. It's really cool. Now, uh, you know what I like is being able to come in here. You can look at this stuff. You don't have to make a quick decision. Go get yourself a coffee. Oh, coffee, sure. the quiche is wonderful here too. Um, and the donuts and the muffins. And so speaking of good. the coffee, uh, our beans are roasted in Midland. So another Michigan company. How cool is and that? And that's Creation Coffee, so they've been, they're wonderful. We love their products. Well, thank you. We appreciate you stopping to talk to us, and uh, we're going to drink our coffee and look around a little bit. All right, sounds good. Yeah, All stay right. as long as you like. As we continue through town, our next stop has an unusual name of Artifacts. So I guess we need to go in and find out what this means. We're coming to the store here. First thing we do is meet old friends again. One thing great about being up north and you're running around town, you get to know people, you see them everywhere. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to the store here. Welcome to Artifacts. 
tell us a little bit about it? So Artifacts is actually one of my retirement plans. So yeah, it's uh, I purchase a store and we, um, we offer space for businesses to operate within our business. So it's uh, vendor based, so you can have a, a space in here and sell your wares. I've got new art that's been, been provided. I've got people that, that are just maybe downsizing and selling things uh, from their downsizing area. So it's maybe more like a flea market type of concept, um, but it's everything. Anything and everything you possibly want, you can find here. It looks like there's a lot of people out I mean, your store's kind of full here. Well, you know there's what? a lot of things. Well, it's, it's not just the store, it's the community. We're a community and we're a walkable community. And people love going from store to store to store to store. And it it's just makes it fun. And the, the stores here are just fun. They're just fun. I like to be one of those fun stores too, so yeah. They are. Yeah, she was they telling are. me about it. And she said, you gotta see this place. Yeah. And she was telling me what it was like. And I thought, wow, that's a great idea. In the past three years, this place has, uh, Ross Common has transformed. And it really is the place to be. And I know it's the place to be because we just have so much business coming in. Come on in, you're welcome. Come on in, hello. Hello. How are you today? Not too bad. Welcome to the artifacts. Interesting, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to do the same thing I think they're doing. We're going to take a look around oh, here. Oh, please and do. see everything. If you have any questions, can we ask? Don't forget to go to the large item room where we have bigger bigger items. Oh, you know what? I love coming in here and finding all the great things. There's so many things that I'd like to have. Well, that was interesting. And I found a new rain suit and even a couple of fishing reels to add to my collection. Danny and I talked about doing a little barbecuing on the grill at the resort we were staying at, so we stopped into the perfect place to find the meal we wanted to cook. Yes, it was a butcher shop, not something you're going to see on TV very often. Up here, maybe you've got a place up here, or maybe you're up here camping and on vacation. You want to have a picnic, you want to have a cookout, you got to find a place that's got good meat. We found the place for you right here in North Common, and it's Bob's Butcher Shop. Yes, I'm with sir. Bob right now. Yep. Well, Bob, tell me about your shop a little bit. So our shop we started four years ago. Uh, we aim towards bringing a better, higher quality to the customers. Uh -huh. uh, I used to work for higher, or you know, bigger companies. Right. And I didn't like what they had for everybody to buy. So my wife and I decided to try and open another meat shop in Ross Common here. So everybody really, really was happy about it. That, well, it's we, always nice when you get somebody that can kind of pick and choose, knows how yes. to cut that meat. Yeah. Because that makes a big difference when you're out there. What kind of meats do you carry? We do a lot of, uh, a more of a high-end premium steak. Um, we do like all of our brats are, we do all of our grinding here, all of our burger grinding here. We don't do any pre-ground beef or pork. Um, but steak-wise, we do all high-end, tenderloin, ribeye, New York strips, quarter T-bone. Uh, we even have just the regular steaks, sizzlers. It's good for kids if you're having a cookout or anything like that. Um, we carry Kogel's, uh, Vienna's. Got to have Kogel Vienna. Yep, yep. there it is. Uh, we just got in with a bunch of more Michigan products coming in now. So we're hitting an organic line of beef right now and chickens. So. So you're making me hungry. I, I think I want to go in there and look around <laughs> and uh, maybe see if I can find something for myself for lunch. Teresa took us to her favorite store, and I can see why. This building took up almost two city blocks. You walk into the store, there is so much that I asked the clerk to give us an overview. So in here we have all our craft stuff. There's the yarn, the diamond dots, the jewelry, the scrapbooking. Um, there's their greeting cards kids crafts in the second room is a little Michigan room beyond that's the clothing room beyond that is the art room and then that last door on the very end is the gift room Wow looks like they have something for everyone I was looking forward to this it should be fun they are open 361 days a year and have been a destination location for visitors for over 44 years so much to look at and so little time. One of the largest selections of paper here. It's all used for scrapbooking. Different way to put your photo albums together. That's what all this stuff That's what is. all this paper is and the embellishments. Okay, that, that's amazing. I didn't know that. <laughs> Continuing through the store, it had everything you could imagine. Frozen Stupid Open Waters was uh. filmed here. They've got clothing here. They've got Higgins Lake stuff. You keep going and you can find all kinds of gifts 
and books back here. They even sell the ARC maple syrup here. ARC stands for Association to Rescue Critters, and it's our local wildlife rehabilitation center out of St. Helens. So you buy maple syrup, you get yourself a sweet treat, and you help out the, the wildlife also. We walked from one end to the other and finally came to the end. Well, Teresa, we made our way all the way down. We're almost to the end. We're going into the last room. What's special about this one? This is the gift room, and it is full of gifts already made. If okay. you're not crafty, you can still come in here and find a, a gift to take home or a gift for yourself. All right, sounds like my, my kind of place. <laughs> Well, fall was in the air, and that meant pumpkins. Lots and lots of pumpkins. So our next stop would take us back to Prudenville to Bart's Fruit Market, where we would talk with co-owner Mark Bartholomew about the incredible number of pumpkins he had of every size and color. We're Bart's Fruit Market here in Prudenville on Houghton Lake, and I'll tell you what, uh, I'm with Mark right now. Mark, uh, we got some strange looking pumpkins here. Great display, though. Thank you. What kind of pumpkins are these? This is a warty pumpkin. Okay, that's a strange looking they thing. They are. There's a lot of new varieties, different varieties. We carry about 17 different varieties of pumpkins. Okay, and I've seen a bunch of them out here, but have you got any of the really big ones? I do. Follow me. Oh, let's do it. Now I'm here with a couple of our big ones. Those are some buttes right there. They are. Those are huge. They probably weigh about 120 about 120 pounds a piece. Oh, uh, something you want to just throw in the back of the car and run home with, right? But I bet you the kids would love it if you showed off with one of these. But you know what? You've got just every conceivable size out front. It's just amazing how much you've got. We have we have a, quite an array from little ones for the for the little people and uh, great big ones for the big ones. Now, you've also got corn stalks in here too. We do. We have corn stalks, straw, gourds. We got all fall decoration meats. I, I, it's a great place to come in to get your decorations for Halloween. We were looking at those ones in your Christmas tree with all the warts on them. Remind me of witches, you know. So, boy, that'd make a good carving right there. It would. But this is only part of what you've got here. You also have your fruit market, and you've got a lot of things going on in there. Yes, we do. Um, this is our 48th year here. Um, we have fully furnished complete line of produce where it's apple season time. Uh, we'll be getting fresh cider next week. It'll be the first of the season being pressed. Uh, there's fall squash, still have sweet corn, uh, and a full array of produce okay. for the fall to meet the fall needs. So you've got a lot of stuff for people to come in here, and you can't miss it when you're coming down the road. Just look for orange, because you will see it. <laughs> it's looking great, Mark. Well, thank we you. appreciate you stopping and talking to us. I know you're really busy right now, and uh, so we'll let you get back to work. We're ready to take a look around. Now we're off to another pumpkin patch. A place where you can howl till the moon goes down and a little cider and donuts too. There's nothing better than going out on a fall day and maybe looking for pumpkins and, and things like that. And you put us out to a spot that has a bunch of them. Where are we at? We are at the Howling Pumpkin in St. Helen. And it's only been here a couple years. We'll talk with Dawn later on um, about how they got started. But, you know, Roscommon County doesn't have pumpkin patches like this out in the woods much. So we were excited to see this come in. Oh, and it looks great out here too. They've got a lot of different things going on. Yeah, they got bounce houses for the kids. They've got the pumpkins, of course, a hay ride, a corn maze, concession stand, a lot of activities for the family. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go in there and take a look around and uh, have some fun ourselves, even though we're a little older than the kids, right? <laughs> you <go>. bet. <laughs> Well, Tracy, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm kind of interested in trying this corn maze a little bit. Might as well try it. Um, I, I hope I do better than I do out on the trail sometimes and not get lost. Uh, Denny, if you get a chance and we don't show up in a few hours, get the drone out and see if you can find us. <laughs> That was good. What'd you do to me? It's been a while. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Long time I think mean, the sun's going down now. <laughs> Great time out there. Good place to bring the family out to and have some fun. We've come over now and we're going to talk to Dawn. She's one of the owners out here. 
And uh, I'd like to find out Dawn some more about this. Now, Teresa's been telling us so much about yep. it. Yep. And uh, the Halloween Public, I like the name itself. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, my, uh, my family come up with the name, but um, it's a family-owned business, and this was uh, my husband's farm from for many years. Oh. And um, we've been the Howling Pumpkin since 2018. So we're mainly generated for kids, a lot of kids activities. Uh, we just felt there was nothing in the area like this. And we had quite a bit of land that we wasn't utilizing as farmland. So my boys come up with the idea of starting a pumpkin patch. So it's just a lot of work because there's only like five of us in the family. So um, yeah, we uh, we enjoy it very much and we've got a great response over the last few years. Well, tell us about all the things that you've got here. There's a lot going yeah, on. There is, we have uh, bounce houses, we have hay rides, we have um, a corn palace that the kids can get in and play in the corn. There's about 4,000 pounds of corn in it. Wow. Yep, we have a hay bale arena that has all the round bales of hay. That's probably the kids' favorite item to play on. They get up there and they run around and jump around. But besides the pumpkin patch, we have uh, an eight, eight to 10 acre corn maze. We wow. have our, our very own McFaddy the pig. He's been with us two and a half years. He's a very gentle pig. His name is McFaddy, and um, he's kind of our mascot. He's big. Yep. So <laughs> we have a lot of other games um, around for everybody to play, and um, yeah, it's just it's just a fun, exciting place for kids to come and visit and their parents. I, I noticed too that. Uh, you have a, a giant pumpkin patch over there. We too. do. You've got some big pumpkins there. We do. My husband grew those in his own personal garden where we live, and. Um, yeah, they, they range in size. He was hoping for a great big giant this year, but he's got some real nice ones over there that people can take advantage of. Okay. So, also, too, I see you have picking cables out. You do have a concession we stand We do. Here. I run my own concession stands. We got everything from hot dogs, nachos and cheese, pretzels. We have cider, hot cold. We have pop, water, popcorn, cotton candy, shaved ice. We have a wide selection for people to choose from. So it, uh, yeah, it, it has gone over real well. So I, I truly enjoy doing that for the people. Okay, so pile the kids in the car, get on out here, have some fun. You're going to have a great time. Hey, if you're an adult, you want to come out too, you can pick yourself out a, pump, a pumpkin. And uh, yep. yeah, that's your excuse for being here. Travel as much as we do, sometimes you want something a little different than going into a restaurant. One of the things that we do for a delicious change is go to a deli and make our own meal. And when it comes to Houghton Lake, we go to Best Choice and RJ's Market. This is our next stop on our little town shopping tour. We're here in Houghton Lake and we're actually at the corner of US 27 and 55. I didn't know it before, but uh, this is one of my favorite places to come to when we get here. And the reason being, we've got a couple little markets here. We got a fruit market on one side, we got a deli on the other, and I got Ron right here, who is the owner of both. And Ron, I'd like you to tell us a little bit about your places here. Well, the, the places are, the meat market's been here for like 17 years, and I've owned it for the last six years. And then we bought the old Whiteheads building and we put a ice cream shop and fruit market and kind of a summer fruit market here. Now, this time of the year, of course, we're getting into the fall. I see we got a lot of pumpkins uh, out here, too. It's fall time of year. It's pumpkins and apples and apple cider and apple slushy shakes. And what else do you have on the inside? Well, we got a lot of, like, um, Michigan stuff, things that are made in Michigan, different kinds of um, unique items to buy and stuff like that. Okay. And on the other side, now we've got the um, little market, kind of a deli that's in there. I know when I come up here, Danny and I both say, let's, let's go down there because that's the place where you can go in and get some really good meats and really good food, beers. I mean, you got a lot in there. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that. We got every, basically everything in there. We're kind of an upscale uh, deli, bakery, you know, meat market. And we do our own brats. We do 15 kinds of brats in there and anything that you can think of, cherry, um, asparagus, onion, uh, it's one of our favorites, and that kind. Of, and we got bacon cheddar. We we got them all. And it's all good quality too. I can guarantee you that. Danny and I both learned that from the past. As long as we're talking food, 
When you need a quick bite when you're on the road, you will find it at Big Smoke Texas Barbecue Truck. Their saying is, you don't win friends with a salad. We're here at Big Smoke Texas Barbecue right now. I'm with Ron McNeil, and Ron is the owner here. And Ron, this is quite the place, and I know you've got quite a few of them going on. I don't even know where to start. You've got, uh, how many of these trucks have you got? So we have uh, two trucks running now. We open our concessions in the North State Park in a, a week, week and a half. That'll be our third one. We have a new location that's coming on M72 right before Kalkaska in about two or three weeks, so four shortly. Okay, so it's yeah. coming up quick. Yes, yes. It, now we are at Higgins Lake right here on this Correct. one. Uh, North, West Higgins Lake Road, as a matter of yeah. fact. So if you're out, you know, a lot of times you get out and you get away from uh, the towns and stuff and you can't find a place to eat and you want good food, <laughs> yeah. this is the where you're going to get it at. Now, yes, sir. You, you do a lot of different things. You do these places, but you also work for a restaurant too? Or? So we have a unique uh, relationship with the restaurant in Ross Common, Michigan. We run their kitchen. They wanted the big smoke food in there. So we just said, we'll take over the whole kitchen. So not only do we have the four food trucks, but we run a full kitchen over at Jack's Place in Ross Common. So you know this knows what he's doing <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, we do pretty good food, yeah. Uh, okay, why don't you tell us a little bit about your menu? Sure, so we're Texas Barbecue. The main reason for that is how we cook the meat. Um, there's two things that make it specific to Texas Barbecue. One is the meat, we only use salt and pepper when we cook it. We let the meat do the talking. And the other thing that makes us unique at Texas style barbecue is we use oak. Uh, oak is a really mild flavor smoke. We like the meat to do the talking. And so those two things, unique to Texas, but I think make the best barbecue. Okay. Now you've got other things besides barbecue. Sure. Yeah, we do a lot. We have a really good south of the border menu. We do quesadillas and tacos and uh, we do really good wraps with different types of meat. Uh, we got a little little bit of everything for everybody on the menu. So. Okay. Now, what about times that you're open? So we're open uh, six days a week. We'll be seven days a week here in, I don't know, about four or five days. Okay. And people come from, uh, if you're all on over. vacation yeah. and you're driving around, you see yeah. one of your places, yeah. make sure you stop and get some of that uh, sweet barbecue because I'm going to... Uh, order some food yes, right sir. now. Oh, I'm yes, ready. Sir. I'm getting hungry listening <laughs> yeah. to you talk about it. For sure, thank you. <laughs> you want something, Denny? Look at so this. what we do with the sandwich, we use Texas toast. And we Ooh. we grill Ooh. that we grill the Texas that toast and that's the bun that we use. That brisket is prime brisket uh, slow smoke. So I got it. Yeah go for it. I, I hate <laughs> to interrupt. Mmm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really tender. Mm. Hope you enjoyed our trip to Small Town America and their quaint little stores. If you'd like more information on anything that we did today, you can get it at our website at greatgetaways.tv. Don't forget to stop and look at our Facebook too. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the show and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.